Hi, I'm Sajid and uh, in this video I'm going to start a JavaScript course. It's a short course for uh, beginners and uh, like after completing this course you will have good uh, knowledge of JavaScript language and uh, I hope you will learn a lot so stay tuned and uh, share these videos with your other like colleagues and friends so that they can also take benefit from this one so let's look at this uh, what is JavaScript so as you know JavaScript is the world's most popular programming language so um, this is the first thing about it this is one of the most popular programming languages why it's popular because it's used in the web uh, in the website uh, front-end programming so and you know there are like millions of millions of web pages there where this language is used and it's very popular it's easy to learn and uh, it's widely used and there are a lot of opportunities for that so javascript is the programming language of the web so uh, you use it uh, in the web pages to make them like uh, interactive sort of so uh, further this is not very difficult it's uh, easy to learn and uh, in this tutorial uh, we will teach you first of all some basics and we will try to touch some advanced concepts as well and if you like this tutorial uh, or this uh, uh, we, uh, th this video series I can make uh, further like advanced uh, uh, you can say topics cover advanced topics and make them part of this course so it depends like how much you like it and how much you learn from this course so JavaScript is often like uh, JavaScript is one of the three languages which all web developers must learn so uh, who are the web developers these are the people who make uh, web applications or uh, web pages and three languages uh, for, for the front end are HTML, HTML uh, you might know this uh, this is used to define the content of the web pages CSS to specify the layout of the web pages and JavaScript to program the behavior of the web pages right so I will I will I will add a, I will add one example where you will understand like what does it mean uh, and what's the function of JavaScript uh, in the uh, in the web development. Okay, so JavaScript. All right, what this tutorial will cover what versions of the JavaScript the original version javascript which like we call it es123 and it was released from 1997 to 99 the first main revision so the main main original javascript was there and then main revision was done in 2009 and it's called es5 then second revision second major revision was done in uh, 2015 and then there are like yearly additions and this language in 16 17 and 18 so in this uh, course we will try to cover all these major uh, you can say upgrades which uh, have happened in these like around 25 years so so the language is quite old so I hope you will enjoy learning this. So, so there, these are some frequently asked questions. People ask like, how do I get JavaScript? As you know, like for example, if you ha have to uh, learn Java or Python or any other language, you have to install it and then you can like start learning or, or start your development on it. But here you don't need to do that, such to do any such thing. Uh, like people say, how do I get JavaScript? Where can I download JavaScript or is JavaScript free? So the answer is you don't have to get or download JavaScript. 
JavaScript is already running in your browser, on your computer, on your tablet, and on your smartphone. So uh, there is no like a specific or separate way to download it and install it. It's already there. And it's free to use for everyone. Anyone can use it, make its applications, right? And um, here I just want to say, don't mix JavaScript with Java. These two are completely different languages in concept and design, right? So JavaScript was invented by Brendan Eric Ich, Ich or uh, I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong, and and became an ECMA standard in 1997. Okay, so ECMA 2.6.2 is the official name of the standard, and ECMA script is the official name of the language. So JavaScript is a commonly named language, and official name is ECMA script. So um, let's move forward. So now what JavaScript can do? JavaScript can change, for example, um, like I said at the start, uh, what JavaScript can do. We will see uh, in this, uh, like by the end of this initial tutorial, and then, or, or you can say the first chapter. Um, so there are like many things or a lot of things JavaScript can do, but here just to give you an idea, like what JavaScript can do, we have a small uh, code example here. So what it does, uh, one of many JavaScript HTML method is get element by ID. This is very popular and, uh, and extensively used, uh, you can say, uh, method in JavaScript, get element by ID. So as you know, in HTML, there are different elements and you can access those element by their ID and make some changes in them with this command. And you know, in HTML, there are no commands. These are just tags which are used to like, which are used to make web pages. And these are just uh, a mark, this is just markup language. But uh, if you have to do some programming, some functionality you have to introduce, you can't do with HTML alone. You need support of JavaScript there. So here we see what JavaScript can do. There's an heading. I, I hope like if you want to learn uh, JavaScript, uh, first uh, learn some uh, HTML before you get into uh, JavaScript scene so that you are, uh, it's easy for you to learn it in a better way. So let's go, let's move forward. Uh, what JavaScript can do, uh, uh, okay, uh, you see this is one HTML uh, document, starting with HTML, ending with doc uh, HTML, then we have the body tags, then we have one heading, uh, H2, what JavaScript can do, then we have one paragraph where it says JavaScript can change HTML content. So this, this tag, you know, this element is P is, and its ID is demo. So, and then we make one button there with the type is button and you know, um, and, and, the, and on the button it's written like click me. And on click, when we click the button, what will happen? Here is the H JavaScript code for that. What, when we will click the button, this JavaScript code will be executed and you know what is the meaning of this code document means the web page in which this JavaScript is written get element by ID demo I mean I need to access the element with the ID P uh, ID demo so this P tag or element has ID demo dot inner HTML I just want to get access to in inner HTML and do an assignment this equal to hello JavaScript it means whatever is I mean whatever will be there uh, already in this p tag that will be removed by this new inner HTML hello JavaScript right so uh, let's look at this uh, I have typed this code uh, in 
my IDE uh, that means so let's run this code and see what happens see here what can JavaScript do as you can say this was our h2 then JavaScript can change HTML content this is our p tag JavaScript can change HTML content and then you go to the button inside button we have a button you can say title as the click me and when we click the button what should happen this JavaScript code will be executed and it will change this p tag content which is currently JavaScript can change HTML content so let's do this now when I click this button what happened you see now it's changed with the hello JavaScript before it was written like JavaScript can change HTML content and when we click the button it changes to JavaScript right so now you get some idea like what's the role of JavaScript in this web page the small web page where JavaScript automatic I mean it has a method to change um, the content in that p tag which as you know with only uh, HTML you can't do that the, the, there is no such thing to do uh, possible to do that so this you can do with JavaScript so JavaScript um, is vast language there are like too many things to learn uh, you can make your programs you can uh, uh, add a lot a lot of uh, lots and lots of functionality interactive functionality uh, in your web pages and with this and HTML you can even write games you can make complex applications so we will be learning a lot of things in upcoming videos so if you like this video what I would say please please um, okay share this one and uh, this will uh, you know uh, motivate me to make more videos and teach you more uh, in, a, in coming days so thank you I hope you enjoyed today's lecture I'll be back with another one soon take care bye bye